Table Salt MTG. Hey, Car Cooks, how y'all doing? I've got some Zendikar Rising today. We're gonna open up a box and see how I do. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, and the box topper is not bent. Sweet. Hopefully we get something spicy there. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are nice and loose, so that means they're Japanese. I like the Japanese printing uh, better than the American printing. American printing's usually... I don't know, they usually have like a weird ink smell to them, and I don't know, they're just, they're just strange for sure, so, but let's, uh, let's hop in and see how we do, yeah, they all have pull tabs, so we know that we're doing this right, alright, let's get the focus set up, and hop right into it, boom, there we go, okay, first, and a Zareth, that's a good, decent start, alright, so, and we'll just do something, you know, a little land, slide them up just a little bit. And we'll do the uncommons, and then see if we got any other cool stuff. I'll just go through the first one kind of slow here. Um, well, and the first couple anyways. No, nope, nothing, so those are all just kind of, let's throw them off to the side. Move on to the next pick. You know, it's been a while since I've cracked a box, honestly. Um, so, you know, come in a little bit closer. There we go. All right. Trash. Trash. Island. Ooh, a shambling or swarm sham a swarm a swamp. Yeah, a swarm shambler. Hmm. Okay. 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 Anything spicy in here? Nope. Nothing. Nothing cool. No showcase cards. Haven't hit one yet. Um. Ooh, every time I see this, I think it's a dual, like a flip card, and I get excited. Ooh, my first foil of the box, a, a flip foil. So here, let's uh, take a look at that, because that's kind of cool. Um, here, I'll put that there. Yep, so it's the Akum Warrior, 4-5 Trampler for 6, which is meh, or Akum Teeth, which uh, is pretty cool, pretty cool. So first foil, put the foils off to the side. And then the rare was Soul Shatter. Meh, nothing too crazy there. Still haven't hit any... Mythics or anything exciting, but, um, you know, nothing too crazy. My energy is a little low this weekend. I was at a bachelor party on Saturday, and I worked crazy hours, and, yeah, so, I, um, I'm filming this later at night, after I finish some schoolwork and stuff, so, uh, yeah, so normally I'm a little more energetic, but, you know, hey, not every video can be super energetic. What we got? Hey, n I actually really like this card a lot. I really like that one. The Null Priest of Oblivion. Um, so far, from the little little bit of time that I've had to play uh, a couple pre-release, or not pre-release, uh, one sealed and uh, one draft online. Yeah, we're just going to kind of go a little bit faster through them now. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been pretty... Ah, it gets me every time. This, this stupid... Thing. And I keep thinking it's something exciting, and it's not. Hey, uh, Malrog, Fury of Akum. So there we go. Okay, well, here, we'll slide that foils up there, over, and we'll keep the mythics a little bit separated right there. So that's a good mythic to hit, or it's at least one of the better ones anyways, uh, value-wise. I think it's setting, still sitting somewhere around... Um... Hey, cool, my first uh, showcase card. A dread worm. I do really like the showcase much better than the core set, obviously. Of course, that was kind of boring for the showcase. I'll put showcase cards up there. Uh, but yeah, no, he's one of the. He's probably like sitting around like ten ish dollars. It's a pretty cool card. Um, you know, I like it. Ooh, that's a cool insect token. I don't think I actually have seen the art for this, so that's kind of neat. And then, hey, a foil anti cognition and inscription of rest. I do not know why this wasn't made in instant. I don't get that for one bit. Um, yeah, let's put the token there. What is this one? Yeah, counter target creature or planeswalker spell unless control player plays two. If an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, said counter that spell, then scry two. So, yeah, anti, kind of like a neg, uh, nope, not negate, uh, essence scatter for creatures and planeswalkers. So, not the worst. It's basically like essence scatter with one extra target and scry two, so that's kind of cool. Um, really, looks really good in foil, and then, like I said, I do not know why this just wasn't made an instant. It wouldn't have been overpowered. 
Um, well, maybe the return two creatures at instant speed might have been pretty powerful, but honestly, I don't know why the the inscriptions there was. Uh, they made the what the the black one. Ooh, brushfire elemental. This one's actually a, a pretty powerful elemental, I think. Um, you know, if you play this on turn three, it's a three three with haste, and that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, keep pulling the cards a little too far away from the camera today. Um, like I said, I'm a little, a little rusty slash not tired. Um, but I really wanted to open this and I needed a little boost after this weekend. And, uh, eh, okay, I guess it's not the showcase card that you want to get. Um, it's okay. I mean, a five, five for three, but you still have to have landfall enter to, I don't know. Looks really cool. I really like the the like I said. I really like the showcase artwork. Man, we'll throw the mythics, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, it's not exactly. If you're gonna hit one in the box, that's not the one you want to hit. So I'm a little disappointed by that. Hopefully, I hit maybe one more. Maybe get a foil one. That'd be kind of cool. Foil uh, sh uh showcase artwork card, uh, rare. That'd be neat. All right, forest and a royal uh, roiling vortex. Interesting. Um, hmm. yeah, I think this is a really strong, uh, main board or sideboard potential card for, uh, modern against, uh, burn, um, uh, or for burn, rather. Um, uh, see, anything interesting here? Hmm, hey, yep, okay. I wanna, I wanna really engine just battle gain life, and it's a 1-3. Cool. I'm bring it a little closer, there we go, sorry. Yeah, I like that. I like that, I like it. All right, let's pick up the pace a little bit. Although I always say that, and then I <laughs> go about the same speed. There we go, plant token. I will say that I'm very happy that they did new artwork, obviously, and that it is the art is way better than um, Zen, uh, the yeah, Coral Helm Chronicler. Um, oops. There we go. Um, yeah, the artwork on these lands are way, way, way better than the uh, Battle for Zendikar artwork lands because they were just all... They didn't really showcase... I mean, I get the whole concept of that it was about, you know, um, the Hedrons and, you know, all that jazz, but still, eh. You know, it didn't showcase the true spirit of Zendikar. Uh, swampy, and hey, uh, my first uh, other... Well, it's not my first Mythic, but... First flip land mythic or bolt land mythic. Um, the scatter. I, I also still don't know why this wasn't an instant. This should have been an instant. I don't get that it wasn't. Why it wasn't? It just doesn't make any sense. Um, I mean, it's gonna be okayish for standard, but its home is mostly in commander. I think most of these cards were built with a uh, commander in mind. Um, yeah. So. Ooh, I do love this negate artwork. If I could get a couple of those foil, I will. Oh, hey, cool. Spitfire Lagak? Lagak? Lag... Like... 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 I don't know. <laughs> Can't pronounce that to save my life. Alright, we're almost a third of the way through the box. Uh, and, uh, two mythics so far. Um... Ooh, a foil. Right, I really like this. This might, might be my favorite uh, mountain... Sorry, mountain out or artwork. Keep pulling them away. So, here we go. Foil. And the rare was a Felidar Retreat. Cool. I think it's a, a cute card. Is this alt? No, this isn't. I know that there's an alternate art to this. Um, but I don't. I forget if that's going to be a promo that hasn't come out yet. Also, first official mouse actual creature. Love it. Also, this artwork's adorable, so pretty excited about that. I mean, let's see if I can. There we go. I don't know. Focus seems a little wonka doodle today, but <clears throat> excuse me. Overall, not too bad. All right, last pack of the first third of the box. Uh, we are going pretty slow. Am I even recording right now? Yes, I am. Good. Sometimes I, I always, I get confused and i think i love uh, the throwback art on here to the original one of the most popular island arts from the original zendikar 
the like the bowl tipping over. So I really like that um, that throwback here and how it's kind of decomposing the um, um, weird card, cool card. Um, the crystallization, or the, I don't even know what to call them, the the wasting or the the formation of wasting a uh, waste on Zendikar. Um, so I kind of like that. Oh, the all right, second third. Um, how we're kind of it's showing, you know, it's going back to Zendikar, and you know they're re uh, okay. Uh, here we go, planes, cool, and then scatter skull charger, cool card, interesting concept on this one. Uh, but kick it, then it get to, like, gets to stay. If you don't kick it, then it's just a decent, you know, haster. And then again, and this is, in terms of, like, uh, constructed um, play for, like, blue-red spells or maybe a control shell, I really like this card a lot. Um, yeah, that one is probably one of my favorite uh, blue spells from the set um, at, at the in, in the uncommon slot, of course. Nothing to, nothing there, so... Right, just keep cruising along. Like I said I'm moving a little bit slower than I normally would, but that's okay. Hey, another foil and a ooh, my first pathway um, in this box. Uh, so it's the red white one, and the needle verge pathway. There we go. I really do love the. I like I like the normal art. I like the extended art. I like pretty much everything about the pathways. I actually to this day I I will take credit for having come up with that idea, but way before. When the original Zendikar was out, I had made the suggestion to people, I was like, how could they reprint the original duels without, you know, devaluing them? Um, and I just suggested, well, why not? Ooh, that's, uh, well, um, mm, mm, uh, uh, well, well, that was a, that was a wide swing of emotions there. Um, my foil rare is the Charix, the Raging Isle, and so, terrible foil rare, but then Leyline Tyrant, which I really wanted to get my hands on because I want one for my Mono Red Commander deck, So, and I really like this card a lot. So I'm pretty excited about that, um, that Mythic. So I got an all-red Mythic box so far, and a, like I said, a really crappy foil rare. Um, so that's kind of cool, but... Um, yeah, no, I, back in the original Zendikar, I had, when I was telling my friends, and everyone always thought it was crazy, that I thought it should be a fetchable basic land that when it enters the battlefield, you have to choose which side it enters, so you only get to tap for one color mana. And a wayward guide. Well, this is a really red-heavy box on its rares. Um, for sure. Um, let's see if we get any showcase. Ooh, yeah, there's a showcase card. There we go. Canopy Bailoth. And then I really like the Deliberate. I like this card a lot. <clears throat> I think it'll see standard play at some point as a four of in some deck somewhere. Um, I think it's pretty powerful, for at least for standard anyways. Ooh, the Hydra token. Cool. Mountain. Uh, a clue, uh, some sort of priest. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Connor, you can't speak right now. So this is probably the lowest energy video I've ever done. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, I that was my idea way back when, was to uh, basically... Make it so that you could fetch up a land, and it was a dual land, but it entered the battlefield and you had to choose one side. So yeah, I, I ooh, the copy token, cool. Hey, another uh, green-white uh, pathway this time. Neato. I don't think I've opened a green-white one yet, so that's a cool. You know, obviously I want to try and get a place out of all the pathways. Um, <clears throat> anything interesting? Yo, hey, a Feldar, a prowling Feldar, cool. This card I've been very pleased with in Limited, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, no, that was my idea, and I'll, lo and behold, years later, uh, like five years later, they... Oop, and a... Oh, okay. Let's see, close... Oh, one of my lights looks like it might be about to burn out. Hopefully not. Uh, another foil, a Windrider Wizard. Um, cool. A, uh, <clears throat> this is the non-promo, because uh, there's a buy a box promo for this, uh, which I did get. Um, normally I show off the buy a box promo, but this is probably one of the least exciting. Ooh, Ruin Crab, sweet. Oh, a little damage on the top there, though. You can see that, yeah, unfortunately. But I'm very excited to open a uh, showcase version. I want to get a playset of showcase foil. That light, man, it's flickering. It's flickering. Um, showcase, uh, foil showcase... Ruin crabs, which obviously will probably be run, you know, pretty expensive, but 
Um, I have a modern mill deck, and I've always loved uh, hedron crabs. So the fact that they, when they spoiled the uh, the functional reprint, I was ecstatic. Um, hey, yeah. So why I don't understand why this one's an instant, and the other two, and I also don't know why they didn't complete the cycle. That really bothers like really bothers me. I don't know why it bothers me, but it really bothers me that this is an instant. And the blue and the black one aren't, and then there wasn't a red or a white one. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sure that there's, you know, you can tell me in the comment section why story-wise there's only three inscriptions, but still, I just, it it irks me that they did not uh, make the other ones instant or make them all sorceries and or complete the set. Like, I would have, oh, wait, this is probably one of my favorite, um, not the best card, but it, probably one of my favorite um, showcase arts. It's just the colors on it are really cool it's just like very i don't know i don't even know how to describe it it's just very like chill it's got a really like nice vibe to it the colors are really like that oh man that light is really bothering me that it's flickering hopefully it's not gonna show off too bad all right and uh a kiri fearless voyager cool 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 so i've only gotten three mythics so far um, but we still have another, ooh, my first Soaring Thought Thief. This is cool. I really like this because I like rogues a lot. I'm kind of all over the place with my um, analysis here, but yeah. Uh, this is probably my favorite uncommon from the set. Um, I think he's really, really, really cool. I also love rogues. Oh, kind of spoiled it there. Yeah, at the very end. Here we go. Nice little Coom Hellhound. Love that card. I know that people are excited about that. Um, here, I'll come full circle here. They're excited about the Kum Helm Helm because now there's enough one drops with Landfall to make a, you know, a Landfall, uh, Zoo deck in Modern, um, which is exciting. And then, uh, then, so now you have, like, I think there's eight copies or twelve copies of one drops with, uh, Landfall in, um, Modern now. Uh, hey, a Glass Pool Mimic. A copied creature... Uh, you control, except it's a shapeshifter rogue in addition to its other types. And it's a copy of a creature for three mana, which is a pretty good effect. And then it also can be a land if you don't have anything to copy. So that's why it's one of the better shapeshifters that they've printed in a while. Um, let's see if there's any showcase uh, cards. Nope. All right. Um, yeah, so the Akum Helmhound gave uh, a deck that needed another four copies in order to make it viable. Uh... So now that, you know, there we go there, and then, ooh, another foil, um, and sleeper card from the set, definitely a sleeper card. I mean, I keep pulling the cards too far away, sorry guys and gals. Um, but yeah, no, so that gives that deck eight copies of a card, um, and then <clears throat> the Ruin Crab, which adds eight co uh, now gives basically the thing that modern mill has always needed which is more copies of hedron crab because that he ooh territorial scythe leopard interesting and it's not the best card but i just love these showcase cards uh in foil they're gorgeous like the, the lighting doesn't do it justice but i really like that a lot now uh that basically i think rules out the possibility of getting another rare um showcase card most likely uh in this box i'm um, still looking to hit maybe one more mythic um yeah i think we're finally out of the last third of the box so three mythics in nothing too crazy yet uh, nothing like to blow my mind you know or anything like that but oh hey hey all right there we go i'll take that oh and that light man i changed it so it's a little bit of brighter lighting um, with this set setting, it's brighter lighting, but it does create more glare on foils, which is unfortunate. So, in six of one, half dozen of another, but I'm very excited. Oh, that light came back on. Uh, that's really bugging me. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to open a foil pathway. That's really cool. I wish it was the blue-black one, or the blue-red one, or the blue-green one, but hey, you know, I'll take a foil pathway any day. So, that's two foil rares for the box, or, yeah, two foil rares for the box. So, that's pretty cool. Um, and then the Relic Robber is my other rare. Uh... So I'm, you know, you can never complain about getting two foil rares per box. Although they did up the 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 rare rate uh, or the the rate of the foils, you know. So typically speaking, you, you, the average is about. We're almost at the point. Wow, that light is really going in and out. Hmm. Um. Really, uh, the like I said, the average has kind of gone up to at least about two. So I'm just tidying up my pile of pack wrappers that are everywhere. 
right now, because you know, people don't show the uh, the aftermath of just ripping a box when you're not doing it by yourself, one pack at a time, and you're just like all these little pull tabbies, and everything, dude, it just gets everywhere because you can't, you know, take the time to throw every single pack into the trash when you're opening a box, especially on camera. It's just uh, not doable, so <laughs> this is a, you got to tidy up every once in a while. Yeah, but uh, the, uh, the, ooh, all right. Hey, there's a, a third or, yeah, th a second um, showcase rare, the World Sculptor. Cool card. Really love the, the artwork on this. It is very I Am Groot, so I, mean, I think a bunch of people have made comments on that, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, no, the average right now is about, um, two foil mythics. Ooh, hey, another showcase card at the back end there. Uh, yeah, about two foil mythics. Two mythics per box now. Uh, sorry. Two foil rares per box. And, um, so let's see if I can get another mythic. Ah, foil in common there. Hey, Agadim's Awakening. There you go. That's one of the ones that you want to open. Uh, I love that. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, we're up to four mythics on the box now. Um... And two, yeah, so this isn't, overall, this isn't, like, uh, a home run box, but it's not a bad box by any means. Plus, we still have the box stopper at the end here. Um, you know, we've got, uh, <clears throat> I'm just tidy up there. Yeah, we've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, eight, nine packs left, nine packs left, and, uh, so I could easily hit one, probably one more for one more rare, uh, or mythic, rather. Hey, Archon, okay, Archon of... Amiria, uh, that's cute, cool, 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 um, but yeah, like I said, I'm all over the video, all over my, my thought process here in this video, I got, uh, uh, you know, with the Coom Hellhounds and the Hedron Crabs and, ooh, alright, I got a Foil Swamp, eh, I love Foil Swamps, that's awesome, and, there yeah, we go, okay, I can ne I ne will never complain about opening a foil, uh, rare, uh, full art land. Um, you know, like, because they've been printed in so many sets now, they don't really hold that much value every once in a while. Um, they'll, you know, like, a, the one of the islands or something or will randomly be worth a lot of money, but generally speaking, yeah, nowadays, full art, basic lands, unless they're, like, super special or something like that, or rare or whatever... Uh, Throne of McKinney. Um, apparently is actually a good card in the, uh, I was actually shocked to see that be, actually, I'll put this with the, yeah, to be, uh, playable. Um, Saffron Olive did a blue-green budget, oh, hey, I almost missed a Spitfire Legac that I had trouble pronouncing earlier. Um, yeah, uh, blue-green, um, kicker deck that had a lot of success. Um, ooh, okay. Hey, ooh, wow, all right. Um, a full art, clear water pathway. Uh, so this is a blue-black one, which is one of the more valuable ones. So that's just stunning full art. Uh, these lands are absolutely stunning. I love everything about them. They're just, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow, I am very happy about that. Um, so, yeah, this box is turning around really quickly in terms of just coolness, um, and then, uh, the, the other art, art landfall mouse, that's adorable. Um, let's see, there we go. Yeah, so, wow, uh, so I went from, like, a so-so box to a pretty decent box, you know, uh, one of the better full art pathways. Uh, let's see, uh, the Skyclave Ravager, um... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so, I, like I said, I'm rambling, stumbling. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, but, you know, the full arts pathways are freaking gorgeous. Um, oh, come on. Yeah, Confounding Conundrum. Interesting. I wonder if they'll start printing more cards like this to help counter ramp, because this is, like, the first attempt that they've had it. Um you know, a card that essentially kind of helps mitigate ramp. I mean, I could easily see this being a four of in a control deck against a ramp deck, um, or something like that, or maybe a four of in a aggro deck against a ramp deck. I'm not really sure. Um, I just know that I could see it. Uh, you know, against Uro would be very good, you know? 
They wouldn't, at least they'd still gain their life and draw a card, but they wouldn't be as ramping as hard. All right, so three packs left and then the box stopper. So maybe, maybe I can get one more mythic. I'd, I'd love to hit one more. And, nope. Nope. All right, well, hey. You know, can't win them all. Got two more to go. All right. Um. Uh, ooh, another slight thumper. Non-foil. Okay, yeah, we're picking up the pace here. And towards the end of the box, usually where you slow down to enjoy the last few packs. But um, doing it backwards today. So let's see what we got. Hey, there we go. Another mythic. Drana, the last blood chief. I don't know. I think she's strong. Um, definitely. I, I think she'll see play at some point. Um, 4-4 four, four flyer for 5 is reasonable stats and body. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, and she does, she triggers on the attack, so you get the creature on the battlefield no matter what. So, hmm. I mean, if you, and she's a little bit of a build around in the sense you could have a lot of non legendary creatures in your graveyard, but, um, I could see her being powerful at some point. Um, I don't know when, but, and she's held back a little bit right now, um, mostly by the fact that ramp decks, uh, and there's not too many, like, solid targets that you can get back. And, uh, you know, coveted prize to end the box. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, here, let's tidy up a little bit. Ooh, hey, uh, a McKinney Ox to end on that note. Yes, so, in summary, with the ramblings, here, in this video, uh... Landfall, eight eight one drops now. Mill, eight one drops now. Uh, new full art lands, love it. And uh, flip lands and pathways are gorgeous. I'm gonna tidy up these tokens. Oh, and just knocked over some uncommons and hit the camera. Oh, then way to go, Connor. There we go. Okay. Um, and all right. Anyways, let's just end this video so you can stop listening to me ramble. If you guys got this far, then. Um, uh, ex that's exciting. <laughs> Congrats on you, because, like, there we go. Alright, hopefully I didn't damage it. I did not. Alright, what do we get? Uh, hopefully it's a fetch land. That would be ideal, or a cavern of souls. Looks like a can windswept teeth, which seems to be... Alright, so I'm excited that it's a fetch land. But this, I don't know, I, I swear that they... I swear that they seeded this particular fetch more because I've seen more windswept he heaths opened in collector boxes and as box toppers um, all over the place. So I'm very excited that I got this, but this will probably be the least valuable because I swear that this one is seeded slightly higher. I mean, maybe I'm you know just seeing things are a little bit crazy, but gorgeous art. I'm very excited that I opened a fetch land. Cannot complain about that. Um, oh wait, there is a little bit of. Like shine the green there. Oh, that's kind of cool. If you can, you can't quite. Yeah, you can see it. There's like a tiny bit of foiling there. Uh, not, we're not really sure what that is, but that's really cool that they did that little tiny bit of pop. Let me see if you flip it upside down. Oh yeah, yeah. It just kind of pulls the lighting as if it is a foil but isn't. So that's exciting. So all right. Um, on that note, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Until next time, card cooks trying to get salty.